Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techno Sujata. Today we will see how to use HTML5 table. HTML5 table is used to display data in tabular form. It contains rows and columns. Let's see what are elements used for creating table. First one table, second tr, third td and fourth th. tr defines table row, td defines table data, th defines table header. Along with this, we have some more elements in HTML5 table. T head, it is used to group header content in table. T body, it is used to group body content in table. T foot, it is used to group footer content in table. So these elements are helpful to categorize each part of table like header, footer and body content. If you want to add heading or apply formatting to the table, then you can use below elements. First one is caption. It defines table caption. Second one call group. It apply formatting for group of one or more columns. Third one is call. It is used with call group element. So it specifies the column properties for each column. Let's see how to use each element in HTML5 example. For this session, I have created this HTML file and added doc type structure. So let's create table in our file. First start with the addition of table element, then tr element. Inside tr we will add td element. So this is a standard table structure. So tr element is used to create a table rows in table element. td is used to create table sale data for table element. So inside tr element you can add any number of tds and also in table element you can mention any number of tr as per your requirement. So let's create a marksheet table example in this file. For that I need student name, subject and the total of each subject for that student. So in this example we will separate each part of the data using t head, t body and t footer. So first we will mention t head. T head is used to define group of header content. Inside T head, we will display the name and subject name. For that, we will first add TR, then TH. TR will create separate row for T head, and inside TH, we will mention the sale data for header of that table. First, we will add name and then subject name. calculate the total inside one column so let's add one more column inside t head so this is a preview of our table on browser now i want to apply border for my table so let's add border attribute you can add any number inside border attribute currently i am adding 3 so you can see the border is getting applied for our table you can also align your table as per your requirement. If you want to align to the left, right and center, you can use align attribute. Currently, I am adding center alignment for my table. You can see the center alignment is applied for my table. Let's start adding content for each student. So we will mention that all the TR inside T body. Inside T body, you will first add TR, then TD. So this TR will create separate row for each student. Currently you will mention the name of that student. So like this one. And then marks for that subject. Likewise you can add TR for every student. content for each student along with the subject marks are displayed inside the table but currently our total column is empty so let's calculate the marks for each student and display inside the total column 
For this table, I want to display one node. So I will display that node inside tput. Inside tput element, you will add tr, then td. Let's add node inside td element. In preview, you can see our node data is displaying inside tput element. Currently, this data is displaying only for one cell, but I want this data to be displayed for each and every cell. For that, let's add call span attribute. Inside call span attribute, you will add numbers. Currently, I want this data to be displayed for six cells. So let's add six. You can add this attribute inside TD and TH elements. Along with this data, I want to display the caption for my table. So let's use caption element. Caption element need to be displayed immediately after table element. Above this row, I am adding one more subject row. So that will indicate these are my subjects. I want this subject to be displayed for all these sales. So let's add call span 4. This subject column need to be displayed from maths column. So let's add one more th. So for a proper alignment of a name and total sales, I want to merge two rows. So let's use row span attribute. Inside row span, you will add numbers. Currently, I want to merge two rows. So I will add two. And I will mention name and will remove the name from below tr. Same I will do for total sale. And remove it from below tr. So this is our table with all content data. But if you want to apply some formatting to this table, then let's use call group element. Call group element need to be added after caption element and before t head element. Inside call group element will add call element. Inside call element you can mention different styling. You can see the background color is applied for first cell. If you want to apply formatting for more than one cell then you will use span attribute. Inside span you will mention number and styling. So friends, let's wrap up the video for now. We have seen in this session all the elements and attributes of HTML5 table. Friends, if you like my video, please click on like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe with your friends and families. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.